Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the Kyle Walker card to review. Uh, this card could be very nice to use. I'm not gonna lie to you guys because I mean, look at his base card stats for pace already being super up there with a plus eight plus five capability on that shadow chemistry style. So again, dribbling is not necessarily a super relevant thing to look at when it comes to these types of cards. With Kyle Walker, guys, we're taking a look at someone who is three star skill moves, two star weak foot, six foot height with a high, high work rate while working with a unique body type, right? So to be fair, for a defensive player, that is going to be already a really hot start, right? The fact that he's tall while being able to be fast with a unique body type is definitely a very, very huge plus, right? This card on the Shadow Chemistry style is going to be working with incredibly high pace, which, guys, I've been mentioning a lot in the videos that I've been making so far. It's very important to have cards that are as close to full meta as possible in the defensive position. So the fact that he's going to be working with a 95, 99 is definitely fantastic. His defensive stats also looks like it's going to be in a very good area because you have to remember that the fact that he is a high, high work rated card is fantastic because some of the, the fullbacks, like they could be like a high medium or something right but a high high it's like this so a lot of the times when you use your fullbacks you're going to keep them on stay back while attacking anyways but with a high attacking work rate sometimes they're going to push up a tiny bit right even if you keep them on stay back while attacking because that's just a base thing that they do so the fact that he has the high defensive work rate to really compensate for that potentially happening is a really really big deal now obviously if you really want like players that actually really stick to that stay back while attacking in the future if they make any sort of like medium high work rate a card then you'll look into that but as of right now this is what we can work with for these types of cards uh the passing to be fair is in a very good area for kyle walker too i think the only thing that you may have to work with a tiny bit but you do have to with most of the cards anyways is maybe going to be an agility and balance when it comes to the on the ball movement stuff okay on the ball movement uh off the ball i really don't feel like it's going to be that big of an issue i feel like he's going to be perfectly fine to work with uh, again for defensive stats he's going to be set up in a fantastic area and then he also has really really good physical stats right so the fact that he's that fast has a good height has the unique body type with good physical capabilities is kind of saucy okay kind of saucy so the way that we are going to be using uh walker in the team guys is going to be uh on stay back while attacking playing in that right back position so yeah we'll see how he plays man hopefully he is a beast out wide and up front gabriel jesus plays alongside marcus rashford good with these guys and this is the initial 11 for the visitors today mario ruiz starts with nelson for this guy and the wide Saka and Hoybier with it. Kyle Walker just boosting it. Pulisic. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Oh, it comes to... Even the AI just compensates really well. It's crazy. Marco Verratti. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. A wonderful yeah, magnetizes there. A fine block. Al oh, Walker's a beast, bro. I love this guy. Well, there it is. The away side haven't had as much of the ball, but their counter attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. And providing width. Unable to keep the ball that time. Kyle Walker's been a monster. Rash Okay, gameplay commentators. Sadio Mane now. Possession one. Cristiano Ronaldo. Textbook defending inside the box. 
And I don't think anything's going to change that. to get to the ball and he did Mendy Jota and here's Memphis and he's taken as a potential danger here and options in the center Really important piece of last ditch to Usually. And a tidy challenge. Patient build up at the moment. Carrasco. Magnificent challenge to win it. Zeus, sum it up for us. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. I love you, Walker. Moving it forward. And players waiting in the center. And that will be a corner. Beastman. Walker failed to hold it. Well, nice job, Walker. Line, so love that, love that, even if I messed up. My, boy's walk, my boy Walker's got it, don't worry. Putting some pressure tactics on, so it's just... I made like crazy here. From the very outset. Well, we're rightly focusing on Bernardo Silva, who can be a former... Walker just being amazing as usual. Kind of like, switching between both of them, it's different, bro, let me tell you. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the Kyle Walker card. Uh, in my opinion, there's really not much to say. Um, I do feel like... He's one of the most meta right backs in the game. Like, I cannot tell you how many times this card saved my life on multiple occasions, okay? You, you know what you kind of need in this game nowadays? You kind of need players that you could overcommit with, but then still defend with afterwards with the high defensive work rate. Like, guys, I cannot tell you how many times I notice the high defensive work rate working for me. I cannot tell you how many times it was fantastic, okay? It was super, super helpful to save my life everything about this card it's just set up correctly like the only thing that you'll maybe notice again it was like i mentioned earlier is agility and balance for dribbling because you know pressure tactics is kind of like it's it can be effective because the dribbling is rough to work with right so if he has 66 agility 69 balance some dribbles will be a little bit hard but if you can work with that which to be fair is 100 worth doing it's just a fantastic right back to have because, again, you're going to be keeping this card on stay back while attacking anyways. The main things you have to look for is defensive capabilities, and he does everything properly. High, high work rates, great. Six foot heights with a unique body type. His unique body type is sick in game. I don't know what they what they do to it, but it just works out fantastically well. Even the physical stats on this card, being as good as it is for base card stats, is really important too. So, Yes, is it unfortunate that he costs 95k right now, especially because of those English, Manchester City links, all that kind of stuff? Yes, it's a very unfortunate thing. It is. I'm not going to say that it isn't, right? But is he a full meta card? Yes. Like, when I take a look at the comparisons, you know, I I'm just going to look at right backs in general, you know, like, other than the other than these guys, right? So, Yasuo Kimika, obviously, I can't check out. Cancelo, I heard is pretty good this year again. So we're going to give him a go uh, whenever we get the opportunity to. But Trent doesn't have the pace. You know, like what we'll do right now is we'll actually check out the pace, right? We'll put the pace super high up there. It's only like the cheaper options. Hikimi, I could definitely see being really good to work with for sure. Kyle Walker is like one of the very, it's he's one of the very few meta cards that has pace like that. One of the very few. It's him, Hakimi, Zambrot, if you get that card, right? But that's absolutely insane. If we take a look at the right back comparisons in the Premier League as well. In the Premier League as well, let's see. Um, so we'll 
I mean, it doesn't even matter. It's just Juan Cancelo. Duo Dalo actually looks pretty decent if you pack him. Like, for a cheaper option at 18k, that doesn't look too bad. He actually could be pretty decent, to be fair. High medium work rates, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's the kicker right there. That's the huge kicker because let's go, let's go just the work rates, right? Just the work rates. Um, I don't know how to search work rates on Fippin, but look, high, high. High, high is like this Spence guy who could be good in the future, but like for now, like, who cares? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, he's definitely a full meta card. If you guys need him and you have that many coins to work with uh, to put in your squad in the future, he's a monster. Like, he's very, very good. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.